Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on this, let us try to solve a few questions. Question number one, tell what is the profit or loss in the following transactions. Also find profit percent or loss percent in each case. So let us look at the first case. A cupboard bought for rupees 2500 was sold at rupees 3000. So basically cost price is 2500 and selling price is rupees 3000. So here we see that SP is greater than CP. So therefore we can say that there was a profit in this case. So how much was the profit? So let us first calculate the profit which is given by SP minus CP. So profit would be SP minus CP that is rupees 3000 minus 2500. So this gives rupees 500. So this much is the actual profit. Now if you want to calculate the profit percent, this would be equal to the actual profit that has been made over the cost price multiplied by 100%. So this gives 500 divided by 2500 into 100. So this gives you 20. So the profit percentage is 20%. The second case, a skirt bought for rupees 250 was sold at rupees 150. So this is the cost price and this is the selling price. So in this case, we see that selling price is less than the cost price. That means there is a loss. So how much is the loss? Loss is given by cost price minus selling price, which is 250 minus 150, that is rupees 100. So rupees 100 is the loss. So how do we calculate the loss percentage? That is given by loss divided by CP into 100%. So this would be equal to 100 divided by CP that is 250 into 100. So 25 fours 100 and this is 40. So the loss is 40 percent. Question number two, convert each part of the ratio to percentage. One is to two is to five. Now when you look at this ratio, it has three parts, one, two and five. So let us first consider the first part. So first part is one. So how do we convert it into percentage? One divided by sum of all the parts. So the sum of all the parts would be one plus two plus five multiplied by 100 just to convert it into percentage. So this would be one by eight into 100 so 100 by 8 would be nothing but 12.5 percent let us look at the second part second part is 2 so here what we do 2 divided by the sum of the three parts into 100 percent so in this case it is 2 by 8 into 100 so 2 fours are 8 and 4 into 25 is 100. So this is 25 percent. And now let us look at the third part which is 5. So 5 divided by sum of the three parts into 100 percent. So in this case it is 5 by 8 into 100. So 500 by 8 which is nothing but 62.5 percent. Question number three, I buy a TV for rupees 10,000 and sell it at a profit of 20%. How much money do I get for it? So the TV is bought for rupees 10,000. That means the cost price is rupees 10,000. And it is sold with a profit of 20%. So the profit percent is 20%. So we have to find out the selling price that is how much money did you get once you have sold this TV so basically you want to calculate the selling price okay so for that let us first calculate the exact profit so how much is the exact profit now we always already know that the actual profit is nothing but this profit percentage on the cost price so profit percentage 20 percent so 20 percent of rupees 10,000 is the actual profit so that is 20 by 100 into 10,000. 
So this is equal to rupees 2000. So the actual profit is rupees 2000. So once you know the profit, then you can find the selling price. So selling price would be cost price plus profit. That is CP plus profit. So what is the cost price? So the cost price is 10,000 plus the profit which is 2000. So this would be equal to rupees 12,000. So rupees 12,000 would be the selling price for the TV. Question number 4. Juhi sells a washing machine for rupees 13,500. She loses 20% in the bargain. What was the price at which she bought it? So this 13,500 is the selling price and this 20% is the loss percentage. So we have to calculate the cost price for the washing machine. Now we already know, now since we do not know the cost price, so let us assume that the cost price is X. Now we already know that loss percentage can be calculated like this, loss divided by cost price into 100%. So how much is the loss percent? So the loss percent is 20. So 20 is equal to what is the actual loss? The actual loss is given by CP minus SP divided by CP into 100. So therefore 20 is equal to CP is X minus SP is 13,500 divided by X into 100. So now it is a simple equation and we have to solve this. So this becomes 20X is equal to X minus 13,500 into 100. So this becomes 20x is equal to 100x minus 13,500 into 100. Or we can shift this 100x to the left hand side. So this becomes 20x minus 100x is equal to minus 13,500 into 100. Or we can say this is minus 80x is equal to 13,500 into 100. Or we can say x is equal to minus 13,500 into 100 divided by minus 80. So now when you calculate this, this value comes out to be rupees 16,875. So this is the cost price of the washing machine. Question number 5. What rate gives rupees 280 as interest on a sum of rupees 56,000 in 2 years? Now in this question, we do not know what is the rate of interest. So rate of interest is something that we need to find out. It says that this rupees 280 is the interest. That means the interest that you pay for the principal is rupees 280. So simple interest is given as rupees 280. Principal is rupees 56,000. And for how much time period? T is 2 years. Now we already know that simple interest is equal to P into R into T divided by 100. So simple interest is 280 is equal to P that is 56,000 into R into T which is 2 divided by 100. Or we can say that 280 into 100 is equal to 56,000 into R into 2. Therefore, we can say that R is equal to 280 into 100 divided by 56,000 into 2. So now when you calculate this, you get this 0, 0, 0, this gets cancelled, 28 into 2. So this is equal to 1 by 4, which is nothing but 0.25%. So this would be the rate of interest. Question number 6. If Mina gives an interest of rupees 45 for one year at 9% rate per annum, what is the sum she has borrowed? So this is the interest that is being paid for the principal. So the simple interest is rupees 45. For how much time? Time is one year and the rate of interest is 9%. So therefore, what is the sum that she has borrowed? That means how much money did she borrow? 
So we have to calculate the value of principal. So we know that interest is equal to P into R into T divided by 100. So we can say 45 is equal to P into 9 into 1 divided by 100 or P is equal to 45 into 100 divided by 9. So 9 fives are 45. This is equal to rupees 500. Therefore, the amount that she, the, the money that she has borrowed was rupees 500. So you see with this, we have been able to learn a lot about percentages, a lot about ratios. In fact, not only that, you also got to know a lot about buying and selling of items, uh, borrowing of money. And these are very, very important concepts of your mathematics. So I hope that this lesson would have helped you go through the lesson, get your concepts very, very clear. And I'm sure uh, you will really do well. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.